everybody, welcome back. We'll be continuing our preparation for the Platform Developer 1 certification exam. And today I have grouped two questions together. We have describe the impact of schema design and modifications on Apex development, and describe how to visualize and create entity relationships. So the scope of these questions uh, is a little more vague than the rest, but I'll try to, to unpack it. So we know that schema is a representation of a plan in the form of a model. So we can take this question to be asking us to know the implication or impact of a specific data model or design choice. So how does the design choices impact the desired functionality or outcome? Recall the last lesson where we looked at the difference between a lookup relationship and a master detail relationship and the instances where one might be preferred over the other. The way you decide to relate and model objects impact its functionality and can affect how data is accessed or even reported. As a certified developer, you should be aware of when to use certain relationships, such as a lookup, master detail, or even a junction relationship. You'll need to know how to design something to fulfill um, specific requirements. For example, Let's say the city of Acme wanted to capture information on public parks, what equipment was available at the park, and when maintenance was performed on the equipment. Now there are multiple ways to tackle this requirement. Let's look at some of those. One design option would be to create a custom object called parks, and then simply create a free text field where the user would list the equipment and their last maintenance date. But this would not be very effective if we wanted to produce meaningful reporting, or if we needed to access the fields using Apex, uh, we would have a lot of trouble trying to parse through the data. No offense, but this sounds like a solution that an end user might come up with. Another design option would be to create a custom object called Parks, and then another custom object called Equipment. After that, we can add a master detail on the Equipment object that points to Parks. The user could then add equipment records for each park and keep track of the last maintenance date. This may in fact be better than the first design, but what if every park uses a similar type of equipment, like a water fountain? Do we really want to create attributes that make up a water fountain for every park? And what if we made a change to that piece of equipment, like added a measurement attribute? We would have to change that under every park it appears under. It sounds a little bit cumbersome in the long run. A third design would be to create a park and equipment object like the others, and then add an additional junction object called park equipment that looked up to a park and the piece of equipment. This way, we could maintain a standardized and controlled list of equipment that can be used for multiple parks. I'm not saying this is the best design, but it's probably the best out of the three. The important point is that you stay thoughtful about the requirements and think about the other effects. Different effects to the data model affect the functionality. Last but not least, I wanted to mention the schema builder. If you've seen the snapshots from the last few slides, I've been using the schema builder to diagram the entity relationships. Schema builder is a UI canvas that can be used to view entities and their relationships. You can create custom objects and add custom fields while in the schema builder as well. One limitation to note though is that you cannot add fields to a page layout. Here's a practice question. A developer is creating an application to track engines and their parts. An individual part can be used in different types of engines. What data model should be used to track the data and to prevent orphan records? When you think you know the answer, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. Well, that's it for this video. If you found anything helpful, make sure to like and subscribe.